Just leave the green screen. We don't really yeah. need it. No, no, no. Let me see right there. What the fuck is happening? You seen this? Yeah, the ether. Is that is that you, Brenda? <laughs> Can I just disappear into the toilet? Can I no, disappear? you just look like you're about to take it, bro. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another new episode of the Forgotten Podcast. I'm your host, Catman Joe, and we're joined here once again by none other than the cynic himself, Mr. Mass Cynic. How unfortunate. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Joseph's gonna be doing the the rest of the intro, so I'm gonna let Joseph just take the take the I guess reins. You can proceed. It is episode thirty one, and I have been completely thrown in the dirt this time. Uh, so overall, what we're gonna be speaking about is creators who have gone MIA or you know forgotten creators. Overall, we've got a lot of people to talk about. I feel like everyone has a scenario or a situation where they've had someone disappear, especially within obviously content creation. So when it comes to YouTubers disappearing, there's obviously a lot of mystery behind that. And I think it, today we both thought that would be a good thing to talk about. Uh, we've both got, I think, around three or four people to speak about each. And I've also yeah. got a personal story um, of someone who I've been in contact with over the years. Well, lack of content over the years. I used to speak to her a while ago. Around five years ago now, and she completely disappeared off the face of the earth until recently, where she actually got back in contact with me. So I think it's going to be kind of cool to see that juxtaposition between the the larger creators and the people that we know personally disappear and come back, and the the links and correlations between it. Because I think that's going to be something really cool to speak about when it comes to you know people leaving and going and how they go about it. And I think we also would speak about how we would go about it if that were ever to happen. But mm -hmm. that's well, not going to happen. You are stuck with us. Yeah, you're stuck with us for the time being, but we, we do have a few things to speak about, including how creator burnout actually, to some degree, correlates and actually also connects with creators disappearing, of course. And I feel like that's a bit of like a an obvious sort of statement, but a lot of people actually don't always make the connection between content creators just getting sick and tired of producing content and getting burnout and then eventually just taking a break that extends to an inevitable forever break, if you want to call it that. Uh, now, I guess we should begin with probably some of the people that we're going to name off. And I've actually got some cool names and Joseph's got some cool names as well. And we're going to discuss them. And I like Joseph said so correctly, we're going to discuss it well how we would personally go about disappearing if we were going to disappear. I think what we say. should do to format this as well is maybe you do a name, I do a name, and then we go off. Yeah, that. yeah, I no, I think that's, that's a great idea. I feel like, and I, honestly, just I want to say this personally to anyone in the comments as well is if you've got like a favorite YouTuber or just a YouTuber you've ever watched or even a content creator on any platform that's disappeared, I'd love to hear about that because I think mm. it's such an interesting concept because. Obviously, you know, everyone has a real life outside of content creation, but it's very interesting when some of the stories get a bit more, you know, exciting, you know, yeah. illegal businesses and whatnot. But do you want to start off with a name or should I? I, I, I got a name here. I, I've got a few different names, actually. And I think probably one of the, the best ones here to begin with is a YouTuber called Scrozy. I've got a lot of Minecraft names. Um, and like, let me let me give a bit of a backstory card. Do you know? It's actually Scrozy funny because four, four of mine... Uh, one of them is mainly Minecraft, and the other four also Minecraft. So it's something about the Minecraft community that's just wrong, apparently. Potentially, but, um, maybe it's just I've like never the... heard of Scrowzy. No, I never heard of him. Right. Well, Scrowzy, to give a bit of a long story short, he's a YouTuber of over 300k subs. Um, I knew him back when he was at 5k. I've spoken about him a few different times on my channel. Um, and the guy basically popped off. He, he originally was making content on the Minecraft PlayStation 4, like seat showcases, uh, duplication glitches. That's how I met him because of duplication glitches. And he also has a, a connection between us and another guest, Purple Weather, who's on this list as well, um, because that was all in the, the same kind of theme we were in. Eventually popped off though. And long story short, the guy blew up. He got over to like 350,000 subs, I believe. You know, the guy was earning crazy amounts of money and then disappeared. Now his channel has got all the content removed from it. It still exists, but he's never made a post or any, any sort of like acknowledgement as to why he left when which he was is at kind of similar to how the Purple Wither did his thing, which is kind yeah. of why we did that send off thing for it. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's it. And it's like, what's even more confusing about this guy, Scrozy, is that he didn't leave when like the numbers were low and like when, you know, like everything was going wrong, the, the ship was sinking, you know, he was getting less views, less subs, etc. He literally left when he was like at his peak. He was probably gaining like m like multiple thousands of dollars per month. And this was a kid who was in high school, right? Like he was still in high school at this time, but gaining multiple thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of subs. He went from like tw like 5K to like 50K in a matter of like a week. And then he went from like 50K to 100. And then before it, like he was just blown up within the community. And it's do like, do you reckon it's because like things. he couldn't keep up with it? Because I haven't read it on my list, but I brought it up before the podcast just as a, as a demonstration. 
But I'm not sure how many people remember the crazy girlfriend meme. Like she's like the, the smiling face with the crazy eyes mm, and crap. And mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. her. She did a video on her channel when she was getting really popular. And she was just like, I can't keep up with this anymore. I can't really do it. You know, it's too much. And I, I want to live my normal life, which to me sounds crazy. And I'm sure it does to you as well. Because it's like, why wouldn't you want that? But apparently it's just not everyone's cup of tea. And when it comes to just the way that she kind of went about that and just kind of was like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore, which is good because at least she said goodbye. But it's so bizarre to see the way people do it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just the way I, they can just up and go. I, I, I never, I think that's where we both have that in common where it's like, it's not like it's money or anything like that that pulls us towards the YouTube. It's just genuinely the passion of it, the video creation, the, the you know, the actual creativeness of it, like that creative outlet you could call. Like it's artists it, when it's you like to draw It's such an integral paint. hobby. It, it's one of those things. It's not like, oh, I do this on the side, you know. I mean, it's like it's one of those things that you do every single day. It's such an ingrained part of a personality. Um, it gets you the way. Like at college today, right? Um, I don't know why, but I was given a book about children born with no eyes, and I just what? thought it'd be funny to read. Um, that's not part of the story, but that's just what happened. Um, okay. And even then, um, I, I, I was reading it, and then one of my friends comes like, "Why are you reading in that voice? Not your podcast voice." Like my commentary voice. I start reading in my commentary voice and my tutor's like, yep, he's, he's doing his commentary again because when I do my audio <laughs> work, because you can write a hundred or so words or you can do an audio uh, version. It's just easier. Oh, and I'm yeah, good at yeah. commentary when I have a script, etc., mm. and putting stuff together. And I'm getting better at obviously, you know, free speaking. But yeah. um, overall, it's quite cool because people now know me for that. They know me as like, oh, he, he's good at speaking. He's good at that sort of thing. He's good at coming up with stuff on the spot. He's good at making jokes, etc. I think that's a really cool thing, an integral part of my personality. And it goes to show that all these different creators can... It's really bizarre to me how they can just kind of throw that away because yeah, they obviously just don't walk value away from it as much. It. It's kind of like, I mean, I'm sure there's always, there is always with any of the creators we're going to mention, you know, we don't know always the full story behind it. And I think nobody does, you know, some of them do deserve it though. Some of them, some of them do. Yeah. Some of them deserve to just lose everything. You know what I'm saying? But some, because I mean, the people like this guy, Scrozzy, right? We're no disrespect him, but the same extent, this guy was like complete pawn scum. Like, I'm not trying to be rude. Like with much love to the guy, the guy went from 5k overnight to like this very, very, very well-known content career. And the reason why was because of clickbait. And then with that mindset, he kept doing clickbait. And I feel like that's maybe why he stopped because it was that he wasn't doing it legitimately. Like he was doing it legitimately. He was gaining, growing, gaining views, etc. But he just became this totally different guy. Like I, again, I had one conversation with him before he popped off and it was asking if he'd want to collaborate when I was at like 500 subs, he was at 5K. I asked the proper weather, he said yes, that's how me and Joel became friends. And then I also asked Postbox Pat, right? Who's another content creator who's now over hundreds of thousands of subs. Um, and you know, Postbox, he was like, he kind of, he just aired it. Like he wasn't interested, but like, it was cool. Like he was respectful about it to an extent. Scrooge, he was like, nah, maybe in the future. And I was like, okay. And then like he popped off. None of his friends, I knew multiple different people. People like uh, Tez Tom is a, another content creator of 20K subs, great guy in the Minecraft community, he streams on Twitch, very successful on Twitch and YouTube. Um, he knew him and he just totally got aired by him. Like the, all of his friends got dropped on YouTube who were not obviously big. I have, I have little that stories like that as well, where it's like, um, you know, you know, like people, I, I know it's like, oh, you go and crap, but th- there was a guy I tried to reach out. This is kind of a call out video. And if you see this, I'm still salty about it. You probably won't because you're an ass. But um, as, a, as a popular, because I, I was back when I was really trying to compete with Apex streamers and stuff, like when I really cared about the glitch side of stuff, mm-hmm. it's very competitive. I don't anymore. I don't really give two shits about that. But when I was trying to be competitive with that group of people, I was like, you know what? I'll try and clap. There's another yeah, guy yeah. called Robo Hobo. He had around ten thousand. Um, oh, I think I remember him. I think I remember him. Yeah, yeah. 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 You told and me like, about him. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. He gets in touch, and I'm like, I can help you with thumbnails because I'll be honest, man, his thumbnails aren't the best. Like he's got uh, a recording system, so you can record out of PlayStation, you know, so like it, it won't get shut down if it crashes, unlike my yeah, stuff, yeah. etc. Same problem you've had in the past until mm. you upgraded to a new PC. But overall. I was being really genuine. He got in touch with me, and and it was all really nice. And Danny was like, "Oh, I can make a new guy, like a new friend, and someone who finally likes Apex with me that is of a bigger level, and can I can help him out, and he can help me out." We get in a conversation, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, you can join my streams and stuff, but like, if we play a game together, you have to protect me. You have to protect me in game all the time, and you can't let me die in front of my stream." I'm like, "What is wrong with you? 
Like you, like, man, I was coming here to be like content creators and be like, oh, we're gonna make some cool things. Yeah, do I some help cool stuff. Now. You can help me with a bit of publicity maybe, or even just be in some of the videos, like in some of yours, we can actually do a cool collaboration. But mm. the man's just like, oh no, I'm the best. And you know, a prop storm is a good Apex player. It's like, 30, it's like ego. kills is a lot, but yeah, the ego yeah. is too much because it got to the point no. where it's like, there is no point in me being around you if you think I'm only going to be there to protect you and not do my own yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I, go I do think, one. I think it's, maybe that's just, this is a bit of a different tangent, right? But it's, I feel like a lot of content creators in the competitive scene of games, like on, on competitive games, they are really shitty behind the scenes. Like on Minecraft, I've met all different types of players, like from, a, you know, the bowling community, which Super are really shift, nice. Right? Uh, super shift yeah i've met all the different types of players from the building communities to the role-playing communities to an extent and obviously to the c showcase communities duplication glitch etc but i can tell you something see those pvp content creators not even always just pvp there's also i mean another version of that would be like the server content creators content creators that play servers like hive and whatnot a lot I'm not trying to name names right now but it's just the truth it's actually the, the, funny because uh, some of them are and so Minecraft shitty. server content creators are both kind of one in the same because mm. they're like not obviously minecraft isn't a looter shooter but if there is a looting system with op and intricate stat systems yeah there's always going to be gatekeeping assholes that yeah. just don't allow anything i i, 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 I remember like, what is the point what i, I, I the said point? i i've met a lot of the different communities and there's always like there's always some assholes in each community like let's be honest obviously i can tell you all some mad stories but like the minecraft news community on twitter and some of the scumbags were on there that were like just looking out to try and kill their, their competitors like at, at any point like i've got mad stories of that right same with the du duplication glitch community same with like the seed showcasing community same with i think world tour is everything. overall we're always oh, like a blood definitely I, yeah but like honestly in all the different communities there's, all, there's obviously all the different like people that are quite like vicious the, the probably best communities that i've seen are being like the bowling communities those have been quite good but even at that my first ever and only ever copyright strike i got on my channel was because of a, a bowling community member so like take it how you take it but the PvP side, which is the competitive side normally, and the ones that normally play those kind of like that kind of level of the game, those are normally the biggest assholes. And I'm not trying to be shitty. I've met a lot of them, and a lot of them are quite I, not all of them, but a lot of them are quite playing quite it chill. But there's the, some that are just complete and utter just egotistic open assholes. Minority that are so noticeable. Yeah, um, but it's it's just so annoying because like. Um, I love Destiny 1 and 2. Never played the game like incredibly competitively because I want to have fun and not want to shoot myself for six hours. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, I'll watch gameplay like just to get like an idea of like different raids. Raids are like really hard dungeons on Destiny. Yeah, yeah. No, which I require like an intricate fire team, etc. Really fought out party chat, etc. And I, it, uh, <laughs> a fire team on a on a raid is the most toxic fucking thing ever really? they're all screaming and screaming at each other they hate each other and because the loot is random if one person gets something cool and the others don't they'll kill him oh, <laughs> it's like piranhas shit. bro I, I feel like we're name dropping here I feel, I feel like we're taking shots but it's like the truth is it's just there's and, and all the different communities there's some scumbag mm. people um I, I did you go for a name there did you, did you yeah you you did share a name there for like a content creators have disappeared haven't did you oh no that was talking about the apex youtuber <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was speaking about like just different Apex like, YouTubers. Yeah. Like, if you want to name drop a Taylor Hobbs, fuck you. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. say, there we go. That's gonna oh, kill me go. later. Oh, you. Was, oh, um, right, you want to pick a name though from your side to well, the from table? Well, mine. Uh, yeah, just be... Okay. Well, I can kind of kill two birds one stone. Uh, I mean, they're all kind of linked in a way. I right, just go with the obvious one to get it out of the way because I think a lot of people have kind of already heard about it. Um, Lion Maker. Pedo. <laughs> nonce yeah i mean that's i mean <laughs> so that, like, that's, there you go. I, I could also kill two birds with one stone with that as well uh free birds mm -hmm. actually there's a lot of nonces on youtube just be careful people um all in the minecraft community in my i ask on my list hey you must say well not all you must say but the majority seem to be honestly it's i didn't say all kids. i just said these are all people in the minecraft ah. community yeah oh, I see. but um I, i'll just name both of them just so they're out of the way i guess Lion Maker, I feel like that's kind of, we've spoken about that, like, uh, as in, in yeah. general, it's kind of a thing, it's just, he was kind of a weirdo, he would, like, uh, get kids to, like, record themselves, like, shaking their ass and upload to they YouTube. They would dance, they would dance, his little cubs, as he called them, and they would yeah. dance in front of the cameras. And cubs in the van. He also, I'm pretty sure he also sold underwear, kids' underwear. Which is like, yeah, no, what level of like actual insanity and then is he, this? He got with, I think her name was Paige the Panda. Paige the Panda. Like a, a she was 15. Old. Yeah, he's and, and he was like, uh, as 20s, late 20s or 30s. 
Yeah, and then he f- and he was like, oh, she hurts me all the time, and sent like a photo of like self harm. But it was like you could if you it was Google, from Google searched the image. It, it was, was from like, the Google. Third picture. Yeah, yeah, it was. He was such a pathetic. And then apparently her uh, like to go on a tangent. And this is why he's left was because mm-hmm. um, he posted her nudes online. He posted yes. a photo of Paige the Panda like naked, who was a 15 year old girl at the time, um, on his Twitter, and then tried to proclaim that it wasn't him. And that he never had these images and mm. i remember Klaus was crazy interviewed him and he was like how then who did it then oh, i don't know so you're trying to tell me some like some maniacal villain here and let's say hypothetically <laughs> hacked your twitter to then post photos of your girlfriend on your twitter how did they Which you should them? already have anyway because yeah. she is 15. but that's it well, apparently he didn't and it's like oh, it's just it's I, I hate that excuse like even if you were hacked you should come up with a better excuse just it was to be, like, so not annoyed. pathetic if you watch the interview with colossal's crazy he's like proper just trying to defend himself and colossal's like you can't say shit you say dude like you're almost double her age and you were dating her weren't you yes but in a non-sexual it doesn't you were dating her right non-sexual or not it doesn't matter you can't you're be 15 in a and, like, loving 30. relationship with someone who is under the age of 18 if you yeah. are above that age it, it's just law <laughs> as not much else to say that is the law well that's it and, and he just thought it could be and then he obviously got uh, i think his channel actually got terminated from youtube thank the heavens i think he did join me to I, I did. I'm, I'm almost certain. Oh, it did. Sure? It did get, I'm definitely. It, it got terminated from YouTube, and then he made a. I recent, think he came back after termination. He did. He did. Once, and then he, he died came back again. to. He came back to. I think it was either Twitch or Mixer. I can't remember. This is when Mixer was around. Mixer, he came back to either Mixer. Twitch or Mixer. It was Mixer. And he came back, the little rat, and started making streams on Mixer. And people noticed and went, "Hey, you're getting like immediately like told on." And he yeah, went. He and got obviously struck down eventually really quickly because Mixer yeah. was small at the time, so they struck it down quick. Oh yeah. Well, he was like one of the biggest content creators on Minecraft on Mixer. I'm pretty sure. Like he because it was like there wasn't lot of competition like i remember like one of the biggest mixer streamers on minecraft was like this um just non-audio like they, they just never spoke they were no audio like it was just watching it like that was all it was it was weird um like asmr and i know it was odd um but i mean so we mentioned scrozy you mentioned your two content careers i i mentioned kind of the purple weather already we've already kind of discussed him joe obviously came on the show as well episode eight of course um another person i, I think is a good one here and this is a outside of the minecraft community there's a guy called bruntangle you ever heard of bruntangle never He's a GTA YouTuber. Some people listening right now might have heard of him. Uh, he had 100k. He had he's had 100k a few times, and it's like, what do you mean? Well, um, he was a GTA 5, uh, you know, you know, YouTuber, and he covered duplication glitches. That's how I noticed him because I was big into the the GTA 5 duplication glitch scene for cars a lot back of in the day. Were, I, so, yeah. yeah, I loved that back in I the day. I assume that's why he hit 100k twice. So. Yeah. Well, what happened was um, Rockstar would just immediately flag and strike his channel because you can't, you know, if you're making duplication glitch videos, you, people used to just copy all these copyright fair fair right and all this like in the descriptions it was just like a bunch of gibberish that would apparently like they think give them the right to be to keep the content it's not going to give them like the right. a music license yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's like it's just dumb rockstar are going to strike you if you do it and if you do it they're going to strike you so he got striked multiple times he's had multiple channels and it's kind of sad like the guy had hit he's a scottish gta youtuber one of the very few i've ever seen scottish youtubers in general very few but he's a scottish gta youtuber i think glaswegian and um, he made GTA glitches and he was one of the most reliable, genuine people, you know, like on in the GTA duplication glitch scene. And he, he slowly but surely became one of the most recognizable because he didn't clickbait. He didn't, you know, like sit and drag out the intro for hours and talk about his gift card giveaway. He was just a genuine guy. And his main channel got terminated. Then he made a second, that got terminated. Then he made a third and I think that got terminated. Now he's got one and that's it. Like it's not posted in 11 months and it's got 90k subs and it's sinful because it's like what a shame the guy genuinely had such a booming community but like he just he just disappeared it's like another i don't GTA like it when like games do that anyway though if, if i feel like yeah exploits shouldn't be a bannable offense they should like in all fairness i, I mean you've got to understand because it's like if you can earn 10 million from an exploit like you can only like the amount of money you would have had to pay for that like i mean for i think an 8 million uh short card on gta 5 if i'm correct here and don't uh, like don't 80, you know fact check man. this 80 quid 60 or 80 quid so uh, you know you're in 80 million you just they've just lost 600 dollars so it's like oh shit like that's quite a yeah lot. But, so like and I 10 people that do that six their grand. problem though like no I, I don't know. that's the thing i i agree i think that the duplication glitch youtubers in gta shouldn't be punished the glitch youtubers in gta in general shouldn't be punished they should in fact be rewarded because they're keeping the game active and alive by doing this but i know it's not exactly good but if you strike the video what are you going to do what, what are you actually planning on doing when you strike the video? Do, what you're gonna nobody's ever seen it. Like everybody's already seen the glitch. The smartest thing you could do is subscribe to these people and then use them as like ways to find out about these glitches mm-hmm. in advance, right? Like, say a glitch comes it's, out, um, GTA notices it's it, like then you go a, patch it. 
Yeah, no, it's like, a, it's like a, I want to get this guest on at some point, um, which we've kind of got in the works anyway. I don't want to spoil it. One mm. of my friends, Big Apex um, Glitch Channel, EA didn't like the fact he was a good Apex Glitch Channel and decided to copyright strike for no reason. Eight different videos, purely because they were they were like, oh, you're using our footage, our game, because they didn't like, like the fact they were doing it. And I'm like, well, yeah. if you don't like it, fix your game. Yeah, I mean, that's really the simple point to it. You're not really wrong. I mean, it's like, same with GTA. It's like, you know, GTA 5 and the, the content. See, like, GTA 5, when it came out in 2013, whew, like, that was a competitor with Minecraft. Like, that was one of the biggest, most booming communities for content creators. Jelly, I mean, you and I both know. Jelly, Quibble Cop, Slow Goldman. I mean, me, you, and Kiwi used to envision that as, like, us three. Like, that was something uh, that I like, envisioned. Um, in that trio as well, I mean, it's technically a quad. The Gaming Lemon was a part of that as well. Yeah, my yeah, the, yeah. inspiration ever. Exactly, man. And it, that's what I'm saying. And those guys were, like, the. Le I mean, they still are big guys, but, like, legends. But then now the GTA scene is just dying. I remember YouTubers like Sernando. Like, hey, guys, it's Sernando here, you know, I like, or Sernani. Man. And he would like GTA 6 coming soon. Like, all I those videos got, were like complete nine trash. different videos that says, like, oh, GTA yeah, GTA 6, 6 confirmed gameplay. Yeah, and it, or he Colin Rock started to ask about GTA 6. It was so bad. But, but exactly. But it was so bad. But the, the point is, like, although these guys are all scum, they were the only people making content on the game. So once you get rid of those guys and the duplication glitches, yeah, they, they, they keep the ecosystem alive. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure on Twitch, like, GTA is, like, the second biggest thing on Twitch. Like, it still is and it always is. And that's because of the role-playing, like, like scene. But that's only on PC. So mm -hmm. if you want to keep it on YouTube and you want to keep where, like, the majority of the people are on YouTube still around, like, heavily, you should have kept those duplication glitches. Users because now that they're gone, I don't even care about GTA. Like, GTA, for me, the grind on it is too much. So those guys were beneficial. I've always said, I, I had a bit of a GTA phase when I was, like, what, we like played 15? It. Yeah, we played but it back like, then. I never liked it after that because every time I would update it, it was it wasn't an update. It was it's just a you cash can get grab. to this update. Yeah. After like four hours of like well, it, constant, and that that's being generous. Yeah. I mean, well, that, that, I mean, perfect example. The newest update just came out. It's uh, I, I say assistant. I don't know what it's called. It's some weird thing. They've added Dr. Dre in it and like Lamar uh, or not uh, Lamar, Dr. Dre. Obviously, Dr. Dre is a, the rapper, of course. Lamar and uh, they've added Franklin from the campaign, right? Which is cool. Um, but the reason, like, they've added them as like a form of nostalgia. But like to get to be able to do the missions, be able to play it. You need to buy one of the Boldens, which costs like eight million or like I don't know about eight million, but it costs millions. And it's like. It's just a cash grab every single time. Like, I get it, they can't do it for free because obviously they have to pay and people. And they just for the started game, but... adding ridiculous crap like hover oh, bikes yeah. and stuff. It's oh, like, they, they I remember totally ruined when the, game the peak with vehicle was the Karuma. Oh, the Karuma. Man, the armor Karuma at one point now was like, that was dog shit. I remember that, man. The armor Karuma was a sweet car. It was bulletproof and it was like, well, it wasn't explosive proof, but bulletproof. I had it in but like my like, clan colors. Like I remember, the, the I, well, we used to remember, purple. We, you had a PlayStation 4 community, did you not, for it? Or something like that. Yes, was it? Or, and yeah. I, I was big on X360 with it as well. That was, that like, was right. My, my favorite car to this day is the Jester. Like, the Jester's a solid car. I like the, uh, the, the macro or something like that. It's like the, the opposite or like, I don't know, there was like a ver another version of it. Um, but like, no, like my point is though, with games like GTA one, like without those YouTubers, like the games just die off completely. Cause you know, like nobody's, nobody's kicking around on them anymore. Like what videos can be made? Oh, new GTA five update out now. Like, like there's oh, only like, again? yeah, like it's like, that's it. They can only make enough content for that new update for like, what, a couple weeks, a week or two. And then what, what are you going to do? Like there's one guy, Mr. Boss for the win. He's a GTA five YouTuber and he just does that. Like he just makes news videos whenever it comes out. And it's just like, he has to make like five news videos on one news, like one, one bit of news. He makes like five videos out of because there's so little content and that's how he pays his bills. And it's like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? But sorry, ranted on there. But do you want to pick another name? Sorry. I do. Um <laughs> Kind of like Lion Maker, this person was tied to Skyder's Minecraft um, very heavily. Uh, was a massive part on his channel, and just he did his variety content. I remember watching one of my favorite games of all time, like him play it, uh, Franbo. I'm not sure if you've heard of that. It's like a never. It's like a 2D horror game. It's basically like you play as a young girl who doesn't take medication, and she starts seeing dead shit everywhere. Um, it, it's very, it's a very freaky game, but it's very good. It's very story driven, amazing. I love this playthrough. His name is Jim Bop. He played with uh, Skylar's Minecraft all the time. That was kind of his thing. He was, you know, it was like the squad. It was like Ross, Max, Skylar's Minecraft. Um, yeah. Oh god, I'm missing people. Red, uh, Jim Bop, Afmal, that lot. That they would always play together. It was iconic. And then obviously there's the Skylar's Minecraft drama. A lot like a while afterwards. Um, but before that, Jim Bop uploaded a video 
which was his last video, which was on a game as and Azu, Azu, something like that. It's like a um, it's like a weird like it's like an art game, you know, like games that are purely based for like visuals and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. Like where you're swimming around in the ocean, and then after that, no uploads ever. Like just completely gone from the internet overall. A few months later, uh, lots of videos start arising. What happened to Jimbop? You know, a few months later, mm. what happened to Jimbop? Uh, about a year later, I think it was like. Yeah, so, so they found child pornography on his fucking computer. Yo, um, no way. Lots of it, and I think I think he got out of prison, um, maybe like three years ago now. Um, Holy shit! Really? And I think he I think he's been in there for like a good five, six, seven, eight years. Um, Holy shit! Like, j- wait, I think when he's out this? now. What's this? When when did he get locked up initially? Uh, I can assume it's when he stopped uploading. I can check his channel actually. If you uh, want, I've yeah. I've not checked in a while. I'm gonna quickly do that. So over here, typing uh, sounds. No, that's fine. Um, it's fine. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just double check because the Wi-Fi and I was getting some symbols. So one second, everybody, Joseph, you can take the reins here and, and speak about it. one second. Okay, so I'm currently <laughs> on the Jimbop channel. His last upload was on Abzu, which is what I was trying to quote. Um, and this upload was five years ago. So he's probably out around now. Um. If not, probably a, a little bit longer. I don't actually know if there's anywhere that confirms how long he actually got locked up for. Uh, but I'm going to try and find that out. Because I know it was because of child pornography. Um, so Sorry, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, look, why is Jim Bob in jail? According to court documents initially un- unearthed by YouTube news channel, Jim Bob was arrested for August multiple crimes involving fem- a female minor. Then Jeez. And then... 23 year old reportedly acted in deliberate so basically he was a predator uh, to all ages essentially yeah yeah uh, sexually harassed people um towards the victim who was just 14 when the interactions began so i i assume he's either out now i'm not sure what the 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 lowest you can get years wise is for that but his last yeah. upload was five years ago so he's either out now or soon to being out because i think it's around eight years if you didn't get to the person oh right okay that's mad Um, honestly because i don't think he did get to them no Uh, and it's interesting to look back at this channel as well because it's it's kind of stuck in time you've got stuff like videos like um what's it um is it smart bot like you know like the old ai everyone used to speak to oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. um old overwatch you know we happy few that game died so quickly um indie games like it's like a solid channel and i semi enjoyed it it was like i'd watch in my spare time just because it was like oh extra sky does minecraft people content because i used to like sky yeah. back when he was relevant um and like all his old thumbnails like poorly drawn but it's it's got unique style to it but he all just kind of threw that away when it came to the whole you know but pedophile thing <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah don't recommend I mean, like, yeah don't you have to say if you want to be a content career but i mean but it, yeah, it, it, i like i like what you said there i like what you said there about like the whole um it was like locked in a time kind of like in a, in a time kind of area like a, an era right i think mm. that's a beautiful way to put it it's like the only good side that comes from a channel that just disappears one day is that provided they don't delete their channel you get to kind of look at a channel that's kind of really like it's that's- like something <laughs> stuck in sap it's just it's, that's the you can thing see that it i kind of like about this sort of thing though because i don't condone what you did like no 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 but yeah overall i like to look back I, you know what i might even do a little mini series on forgotten channels it could be quite cool just looking back on some of these but like it, it's interesting because i remember f- well five years ago now apparently um these sorts of games like you've got you know crappy indie games you've got undertale you've got you know just just old overwatch you know old horror games gang beasts when that came out happy Jesus. wheels um i mean happy just... wheels alone like that's a that's a throwback like happy wheels goddamn but yeah that that's his mad. third uh his most recent his third most recent video is happy wheels that's how long ago this happened jesus i um, but it is quite like again the way you put it there it's quite nice for you to look at channels like that it's the only kind of good side that comes from the channels that just disappears it's kind of like you know, you, you can always just scroll down a content where it's like, say like PewDiePie, you could just scroll down his posts and look for his 2017, 16, 14, whatever content. But there's a difference when you can really look at a channel that's genuinely stuck in that time frame. So say like they mm. abandoned the channel in 2015. You can look at it when it was in 2015, that the banner, everything, and be like, holy shit, this was how YouTube was. Yeah, back it's not changed at all. It's like a crappy, like yeah. the resolution isn't as good. 
it's like an, his anime character was surrounded by like you know different characters like a bit like the pyro cynical one but like worse yeah. you know oh and god then just you know you look at all of the featured channels which is kind of interesting to see like imagine being um hypothetically uh jack septic guy he's he's in his featured channels and he's just going to be stuck there you know forever forever, forever. And he, does, he probably mm. doesn't want to be associated with this man no that, that's the thing but it, it is quite mad to be to see where content creators were at that point in time and being able to like archive it um this this brings me to another content creator funny enough obviously going on to my side of the table obviously here um and a few people might have heard of him uh, his name's sam gladier uh you i don't think i've heard, heard of him, him yeah oh you are oh, right you will have um, Sam Gladier was a Minecraft content creator again, got over a million subs. Um, most like well known for like his uh, his role play his role playing series called Yander High, right? Yander, uh, Yander High, yeah. My Minecraft Yander High, right? And it was it was a cool series. Like I can't like I've never ever 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 watched any Minecraft role play except from his. Like that's the only ever role play I've ever watched because it was enjoyable. Like it was actually quite nice and relaxing. Him and Tortoris, I think I'm pretty sure his name was our Tortoise, Tortoris, Tortoise. Uh, him and his friend would basically just sit there and play and like they would like pretend they're like in the big city going to school and like getting a house and it's like it was just peacefully beautiful like it was like something to look at and you'd be like that's quite like you could show with this it's something you could put in the background and it's beautiful but he um at one point he just up and left youtube as well like he came back a few months ago though which is quite cool about nine months ago in fact it was with like a skit now he makes minecraft content but he came back with a skit and it was regarding um it, it was just like him pretending to be loki from like the like uh, you know marvel and it was just, it was cool, like it was cool and all, but it was just a bit odd, you know? And then he came back months later with like, I think three or two different Minecraft videos. One was like Minecraft Squid Games and another one's a Minecraft thing. And they gained about 130k, you know, views to like, you know, 240 or 50, it's which isn't terrible bad. for a returning no, YouTuber. That's, that's really good, honestly, but he's just left again. That was three months ago. And it's kind of sad because like, when you look at this guy, this guy at one point was like on the absolute pinnacle of YouTube. Like, I mean, this guy was you know a million subs but he was getting ridiculous views like every day him and his buddy were just sitting recording a, a role play and the first episode's got like 90 million views the second's got 8 million the series itself's got over 100 million views that like, combined like it's astonishing right i mean he worked with people that now are even bigger as well like tortoise he disappeared eventually as well and, and sam did and there's, there's reasons why they don't work together and stuff like that anymore um but like another person he worked with is a, a minecraft youtuber called green i don't know if you've heard of him green yeah, maybe green great he's, i don't know how many subs he's got now but he's huge he's quite big yeah he's huge but he worked with sam like sam, he was in his like let's play series or role play series way back in the day when he was like a, a smaller content creator not a nobody but a lot smaller and it's like this guy could be so much bigger if he just never quit and if he just but like the, the problem is with them and this is kind of like something that we've, we've all kind of discussed a little bit with other content creators is that they get stuck in that time loop of like they don't know how to change their content yeah or they a never lot of evolve creators never know how to evolve yeah exactly it's just they get stuck in that like this is what works this is what works but the yeah. algorithm is like this doesn't work anymore, no, no 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 you know yeah but, that's but like, they can't YouTube get changes. that cognitive thing in their head you know mm. Mm -hmm. so they just kind of think okay if i keep doing this it will succeed and i don't honestly 130k for someone who's disappeared is phenomenal it is oh, no, really I, goddamn two, good two, 130 or 250 like dude that's really good man like that's like that's decent but like again to just up and leave again for another three months it's it's really bad because it's what damages growth i mean at someone that just came to mind there um and i'm trying to like recall back now because i've just lost them uh we just mentioned something and it just kind of like made it come to mind um oh my god that was terrible he was he was right here for a minute there I, it was a content creator uh I, I believe you had a lot of subs oh my god that's terrible i don't know why that, that was yeah. it down no that was that was that was it, it, it was a prank channel a, a youtube prank youtube channel right uh vitaly vd you might have heard of him vitaly the, like the guy pretending to be russian he, he, well, he was Russian, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. But he had, like, the Russian accent. He used to do, like, pranks where he dressed up as a hitman. And he'd, like, walk in front of people with, like, suitcases and just leave it beside him and go, Mommy's been panted. And, he'd, like, he'd walk away and it was... He, he was at oh, one point the, the the social experiment guy one of them yeah well he yeah. worked with food he worked with fuzzy tube and with uh with a uh, roman atwood like those three made a movie together and everything those three were like a, they were like the trio of destruction for like pranks back in youtube's early days um but 
perfect example of him. He's just totally dropped off. I watched a video uh, by this YouTuber. I can't remember his name. He's a guy who does like all the, you know, like, you know, the YouTubers are gone now or like how they dropped off. Like the one about Stampy Cat and one of other people. Um, I forget his name, but he makes very good content. But Vitaly, what happened to him was like, he just made pranks and pranks and pranks. And at first, the reason why I got so successful and so famous was because they were legit. Like he was just a kid that was like 19 years old making prank videos and they were legitimate. And people could tell that. And then he started faking his pranks and then people obviously lost interest. And then he's never evolved from pranks he always just stuck with it like he, he just stuck with pranks entirely like he never changed and like the whole of like the past seven or eight years never changed from pranks and then he left for a long time came back and he recently came back and made like i think three different videos three different prank videos and like they've only gained like a 100k each and this is guy with like i think eight million subs i don't know if you can google it right now his channel vitaly or something like that vd I spell but like that. I, I don't know if you want you can put fling on straight on the screen one obviously but it's like um just search up vitaly or something like that I don't know, V-I-T-A-L-L-Y, I think, I know. Vitaly, or no, it's, it's a weird name. Oh, uh, Vitaly officially facing life in prison off. This is the first thing that comes up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and that's him now. That's what I'm saying, the guy's totally and utterly fell off. But if you want to share it on the screen, you can. I think his channel's gone, bro. Oh, I can be, man, it's definitely there, eight million subs. Anyone that comes up is one with 44 subs. One second, let me just try this here. In fact, I can't, because my keyboard, damn it. Um, is it Real World Police that the channel's under? What, what, sir? I can't find anything from him, but only videos about him by other people. Damn, that's weird. Um, he's like a. You, can you see him though? He's like a. He's a white dude. He's like a Russian-looking dude. It's weird. I don't have to. He's got some it. weird gray hair. Yeah, he's got his hair dyed gray. If you Google his name though, you should be able to find his channel. Hundred percent. Something TV. I'm pretty sure his channel is at the end. It's a weird like thing. I just. I really want to just show this like for the peeps watching. Obviously, just to give everybody a bit of an example as like, all right, this is actually like a dead channel. Like this is. This is a dead channel. You're saying. Oh, one second, let me. It. Hold on. You think you have? One second. Just trying to get my actual thing here. I'm trying to actually get like a keyboard right now. For everybody listening right now Vitaly to the show. Vitaly ZDTV. That's it. Yeah, yeah. All right. You tell me when you're ready you to share. this, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Come hell and I want to show like people that are watching right now, like his channel and give a perfect example. There we are. I'm going to give it a second. Uh, all right. One second. Bubble. All right, there we go. There he is. Yeah, look. So there, look, 10 days ago, look at that. 100, like this is a guy with 10 million subs. And look at that. Look at the views. Like I'm saying, like I like giving people tickets for that abysmal masks. thumbnail. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's ridiculously bad, man. Like, can you oil me up? Like, this is like the type of clickbait shit he does. Like he's obviously made four, but like if you look at like the past like uploads that he's done, like he just disappeared. Like look, two years ago. Oh, like, I see like, a he, trend of their thumbnails. You see what I mean? It's all just the whole kind of clickbait. Women. Let's get a lot of girls that are like sexy and put them on the. Oh, thing. that's like, a that's, dead woman. But it's yeah, still look, a woman, I, people. So Russian well, hitman dead you're body. You're gonna prank. click it still. It, it's why I slap Logan Paul. Like like look at them all. It's just terrible. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but if you look at his views, as a content creator, you should just have women everywhere. People of of love course, women. Arrested, like so. he streaked to World Cup. I'm pretty sure, like he went onto the field. Like this was an example. Shit like this, picking up the hottest girls in Miami, asking Justin Bieber if he lives. You see, what I mean, it's like, what kind of content is this? Like, it's How just, I mean, like, you? but you, you see, you see, like the views. Like this time, this is when he's doing good, like two million, four million. Like so, this, uh, it just pretty good. It gets overwhelmingly sexual at some points. Oh yeah, yeah. Asking like, kind of, boyfriend like, if I can eat their girlfriend's booty. Like what the fuck, like. I, I I want to kill him, you know. I mean, like, look look at, but look at the views on the one just below that, just below that right now. Like just below, like look at the uh, right, look at that, twenty one million views. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like how? I want to see the comments on this. Oh man, it'll probably just be just terrible. Just like Age restricted, before. like. But this this is why I left because all of that content because it's so degrading, obviously, of course, and the way he's done the actual thumbnails, like it's it all just got entirely just like kicked off the platform. It became age restricted. Look, let me see. It's too well known now for pranks. Like, they're clearly fake. Like, if this is the thing. Every one of these were fake because, like, look. I don't. I how are people this dumb? Yeah, you're a fucking hey, boss. Hey, Vitality, you're the fucking boss. I've been following you since the old days. Thanks for coming back to your old style of dedication and constant badassery. Much love from Spain. Like, no. <laughs> the this video is, is called Can I Eat Booty? Like, I, but like, what are you it's trying clear, to crazy? But, like, it's so clearly fake. That's the thing. Like, let me see. Money isn't the issue. Like, look. It's it's just all of them are so clearly fake. Like they're all so clearly fake. Like it's actually ridiculous. Like, like they're funny like to an extent, random. depending on them. Let's see what? Like a, well, I wonder if that like run. I click on a random channel. Oh, nothing. Twenty eight subs. Probably bots. Maybe you have to say, potentially. Don't spam this channel, people. 
yeah don't 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 know how i asked this person i'm saying with lovely masters but you see to me like they just disappear and like this guy here though he's he didn't disappear but he became irrelevant and it's because of that like the the lack of the ability we have to evolve and move on to the next kind of the next kind of thing but mm. do, do you want to take a contact rare because you have I, mean, I know you've got a couple more things um i've got run through. i have marina joyce but i don't think it's worth speaking about because it's kind of Something everyone knows about. Mm -hmm. uh, I can kill two birds, one stone, and then I've got like a personal story one. What What do you fancy? Right. I had two birds and one stone, then we'll go for the personal story. Okay. So Ashdub and Snake Doctor both used to be very popular Minecraft YouTubers back in the day. They used to play with iBallistic Squid, Stampy Cat, etc. The whole gang back then, they did really well. They did really well. They had like they had videos of thousands of views. I think some of the millions, I think Ashtub hit millions. I'm not sure about Snake Doctor. He was a bit more under the radar. But it's weird for me because I've got a photo with my 13-year-old self with Ashtub. So, like, Jesus. It, it's bizarre because I used to be quite a big fan. Um, and he just kind of said, I don't want to do this anymore, respectfully. People could do whatever they want. But he just then started going a bit emo, started going a bit goth, started like just being a bit like, oh, I've got piercings and I've got tattoos and I hate content creation. It's too kiddie. You know, it's all childish. Um, Isn't that kind so of like what that Sky died. does? Sorry, cough. What was that? Sorry? Isn't that kind of like what Sky does Minecraft done? Like, kind of, kinda... but I would kinda... argue this is more detrimental because his name oh, okay. wasn't as big. Oh, okay. Um, okay, okay. But overall, he kind of did that, stopped doing it for a few few months or even a year or so i checked his channel before the podcast uh, before we started recording and apparently he's back but like he's he's under the name ho like ash hobo or hobo ash and he's doing like variety game content and he's like you know when i said like 130k is so good to come back to yeah this man's barely scraping a thousand like barely 1k it's abysmal um, I think he's deleted in? his old channel. I couldn't find Ashdub. I could only find Hobo Ash. And I know it's not the same channel. Well, I don't think it is because it doesn't have the same amount of subs. And um, the other person, Snake Doctor, I, I actually commented on one of his videos not too long ago to say hi. Like, I remember you kind of like fueled my childhood. Yeah. And he was like, he replied because he gets no comments. He gets no views anymore, unfortunately. Because um, he used to get thousands of views. Now he's getting like barely 500, 1K, 2K if he's lucky. <sighs> And he replies to my comment. He's like, oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. And thanks for coming back. And I'm like, you know, no problem. It's just, it's so weird to see you like this. Yeah. Like at this kind of stage, this kind of thing, like of like dropped off. Oh, it's just sad because it's like, because they also played with like Jim Bop and that as well. Like the, the guy I mentioned before, the child mm. pornography and shit. And it's just, yeah. it, it's so weird to see. One disappeared and went to jail. The other two died off because of like, I'm not sure about Snake Doctor. I think he just kind of stopped caring or not stopped caring, but didn't have the passion for it. Uh, yeah. And then you've got Ash Dub, I think who did kind of go, I don't want to do this anymore, but then regretted the decision. And it's not really oh, something right. that you can guarantee a return to. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I'm not saying he deserves it, but he should have been mm. a bit more full of himself when he was yeah. thinking about it. Because he had a good thing going. He was like, oh, I'm... Because just for contrast, he was like, oh, I'm the cheese man. His guy was like a block of cheese with eyes. And it was all quirky and funny. And it was his child thing. It was like, um, it was very appealing to kids, obviously. Because it's Minecraft. And he's like, oh, it's the cheese man. You know, who doesn't think that's fucking great? But now yeah. it's like, oh, I'm just some bloke playing games under the name Hobo Ash. It's like... Yeah, it's kind of like, mm, you kind of dropped off the, the atmosphere. now. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that sucks, man. I mean... I, I've got I've got a couple names here. I'm going to try and quickly go through them, right, real quick, so I, I can let you do your personal one. I've got one personal one as well. Um, these guys, I've got three right now. I'm going to quickly go through them. Um, one is a guy called UTG Mist. I've worked with personally. Great guy. Um, he's a he, he's not really a, a specific content creator on specific games. He's mainly done Minecraft, but he's done a lot of other things. And his main thing is achievement hunting. He made a lot of achievement hunting to videos. He's got like 10k plus subs. Um, he disappeared, like, without any announcement, just totally and utterly, one day vanished, been away now, I think, what, seven or eight months, um, but at 10k, and he was pulling good views, because achievement videos, all the, like, how to get achievements and whatnot, they're all, you know, educational-based content, so every one of his videos were doing good, and he was very good at editing, trust me, like, way better than what I expected, uh, and much better than me, um, and then another person was another Minecraft content creator called, uh, FedEx Gaming, now, some people watching might have heard of him, he's got, like, one point something million subs, I think, or maybe he has under a million, I've, I always felt like he had a million, but I think he might have under under a million, I'm not certain. 
but he was a mainly known for being a Minecraft Redstone YouTuber. And uh, I watched this guy back in like 2016, 2015. I loved his, his stuff, but now he's just kind of disappeared. Like he, he's, he's went away for a little bit. He came back for a little bit. Um, and then he's disappeared again. And I believe there's some sort of family issues or something like that. But again, it's one of those things where another content creator just one day up and leaving. Um, and I believe that was mainly due to burnout, but there, there could have been other stuff as well. And I've got one other guy here that I'm going to mention that I'll mention a personal guy after your personal one, which a guy called Ocarus. Um, Probably never heard of him. He's got 100 subs. He's like pretty much like a nobody on the platform. But he, I know him. And the reason why I knew him was because, uh, and this is kind of like your personal one. I know who you're going to mention next, I think. Um... This guy helped me make my channel art back on my main, obviously, channel Cat Manjo way back in the day before before this one, I think. But it was on the last Cat Manjo one, this and he the helped me. Orange Hoodie. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't the, he didn't help me make the channel art like the Orange Hoodie, but he helped me make the banner. And it was like, mm -hmm. it was a very small thing, but I always really appreciated it and whatnot. And I had a lot of respect for the guy because he was like a graphics artist. But like, he just disappeared and he's been gone for like multiple years now. And it's one of those things where it's like, not a goodbye, not a way to contact you, not a way to get in touch. Just gone. It sucks, man. It's like, it's a horrible way to just disappear. Honestly. It, it, especially when you have that like connection with someone it's such a horrible yeah. thing for them to just vanish which is kind of like what my story was yeah um, but i only just got answers about a week ago like and no, no actually not even that no joke it was an hour before my birthday that i got a response Jesus. and they didn't even know it was my birthday so it was <laughs> so like interesting a yeah it's like do you want me to move on to that or go ahead yeah go ahead i'd love to know yeah so for those of you who don't know, I've not always been the mass cynic. I've been under other names, such as Curious Hippo and some others midway through if I had a crisis at some point. Uh, <laughs> but if you look very closely at my background setup, you'll see something up there. I've got two pillows, one being one that says die. Uh, Joe points that one out quite a lot. It's quite funny. And this this one uh, is my old channel art from back in the day. Uh, and it's just a purple background. Got a, like, a hippo hat on. I just wearing a grey sweater. Original art. Iconic. The guy that, well, the guy, the girl that made this art uh, goes by the name Roz. I'm sure she's okay with me sharing that. But uh, she had an old channel called Oblivion Strike, and she made my art. And I remember that's really, it's really dumb and nostalgic for me. It's stupid because it will mean nothing to anyone else apart from myself. But I remember being at my nan's at Christmas time, like my old nan's house before they sold it, and it, like when my granddad was there because obviously he passed last year. Uh, but yeah. it's so nostalgic for me because I think back at it and I'm like, I remember being a small child and sitting on the stairs because the stairs were massive to me back then and, and waiting for like an upload because she's like, oh, I hope you make some art because I never had custom art before. Um, and we went back and forth for a few days and not even like on an app or anything because she wasn't allowed like, you know, social media because some parents are like that. Um, she was never allowed it. So we just spoke in YouTube comment section like all the time, which for those of you that don't use it to talk to people, it's very unreliable and awful. You never really get notified, not notified half the time. But we spoke back and forth quite a lot and we got quite close over the years. We just spoke about things. You know, she was excited about my content. I was really excited about her art. She's good at singing. She's good at music. She does all that sort of thing. And she's just done that and uploaded. And I've always been like on her channel because it was I was very grateful and I still am for that original bit of artwork she made me because that kind of developed into who I am now. And yeah. it was a it was the first thing that set me off and gave me that passion. So I'm very, very like that's why it's on a pillow, it's why it's printed. Well, you know. Correct me if I'm wrong here, sorry, yo, but wasn't it before that the only thing the artwork you had was like a Minecraft? It was a Minecraft performance. Yes, that you made me. Yeah. So it was like um, that's it's genuinely hella nostalgic. Like it, it really yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. It's such a long time ago. And that kept happening. Uh, she did a few more artworks, some for my friends like James Too Many Turtle. I'm not I sure mean, if he goes by that name anymore. But um yeah, like uh, she did art for him, and then after Stop. that, he kind of just like stopped, yeah. it disappeared. Yeah, uh, upload, and then like a year later, she uploaded a video. And I remember the exact name of the video because I kept going back because I wanted to get a response. You know, I, I was like, I don't want my friend to just disappear without a goodbye. Uh, it was called Montage of Death, and it was just like her fucking hell with her friend, which is understandable. Some people do that sort of thing on YouTube, and all for it. It was funny, it was well edited video for what it was, and it was random, but it was funny. Um, I remember speaking to her in the comment section about there. And then after that, she went very quiet, as in she wouldn't even respond anymore, comment section wise. And uh, over the years, I just, every like year, every few months, I would go back to the comment section. And I, I, I did this like five years, like genuinely. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I would be like, hope you're doing all right. You know, I'm really appreciative for what you've done. This is the progress I've made. I hope you like what I've done with your stuff, like how far I've come. 
you know, I've wanted to like always be like, you know, I want her to know that I appreciate that because that started everything. Yeah, like, everything. and you haven't for, you haven't forgotten about her either. Like that's Ex exactly, like, I don't want it to yeah. be like, oh, thank you, fuck off, you know, because like, I'm not like yeah. that. If people are good to me, and yeah, just like I've kept doing that over the years, and radio silenced absolutely nothing um, until on 2022 uh, January 12th at 11 o'clock. Uh, I get a message on, on Discord saying someone's joined my server. I'm like, who the fuck is Exerberus? Some like <laughs> weird name. Like, who the fuck is this? Like, I'm, I'm all for new people. I thought it was a new viewer, a new audience member um, on my channel. Just joining my Discord because it's my, my link to my Discord. It's everywhere on my channel. So I assume someone's just joined because they've just been new to my content. I do a lot of networking and stuff. So I assume someone new has just joined because that's the easiest assumption. Yeah. Then she DMs me directly and she's like, Hey, it's 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 me, Roz. Like I I made your channel like five years ago. I'm really proud of you. And I was like, fucking hell, that is the best thing to hear before my birthday. Because this is this is my childhood hero essentially saying I'm proud of you the hour before I turn 18. And I'm just like sitting there so fucking happy. Like uh, my my 18th birthday could have been fucking shit, right? Could have been mm. abysmal. But that would have been a peak moment. But that would have cheered me up. That honestly would have cheered me up. And we just spoke for a little bit. And we're like, I hope we'll catch up soon. And Ross, I'm going to send you this video. So if you get this far, thank you. Because um, I'm going to send her this and, you know, that would be a little conversation it's, star and stuff. So it's nice. It, it's funny that actually, like, Roz, I, I didn't know that was her name, but Oblivion, yeah. right? They actually made art for Oblivion me as well. Strike. Yeah, Oblivion yeah, no. Strike. That's, yeah, that's that how like you, Christmas you got cat. her in contact with me. Yeah, and that was, it was like, it's like the weirdest thing. Um, but like, it's actually hella cool. It genuinely is. It's hella sweet. Like, it's the same idea of the Oculus guy I mentioned. Um, I, I, until like about a year or two ago, I, I was going there periodically every year and commenting, like saying, hey, how are you doing, man? I'm at 50k now. Hope you're doing well, bro. Uh, whenever you see this, you know, drop me a message. You're always welcome pop in. Not for any artwork or anything like that or any, because he'd done GFX, which wasn't even like his own stuff. He just helped do it because I didn't have a PC at the time. But I, I appreciated that. And uh, it, it's the same idea, just not forgetting people and like going back and trying to get, keep in touch with them. And I, the next guy I was going to mention, mention for my personal kind of thing was uh, someone who you know about, obviously, Modest517. Um, and Modest, I mean, my whole community has, has heard me rant about him. This guy was the guy who, uh, you know, 10, 11 inspired me to start doing Minecraft and start doing YouTube. And it's uh, it, it was amazing. Like this guy, when I, when I first found his channel, he was like, 15 16 maybe 17k subs and uh, i just i thought the world of this guy like i thought he was like the the pinnacle of youtubers because back then it was like that and he was doing you know best things to build or things to build in minecraft on the xbox 360 and i was binge watching it and i just loved and adored him like i still will never forget sitting with my blackberry like j just sitting with my blackberry just watching on youtube this guy's like minecraft tutorials i like your how tutorials. to build a caravan tutorial well, that, yeah and that that was actually his video i just like bought it myself i i proper plagiarized this guy for his videos but i loved him that much i was so inspired by him and he was the initial guy who really kind of inspired me to start doing youtube and start doing minecraft youtube stuff and i i, I made a whole like 100 episode long series of best things to build in minecraft as opposed to things to build in minecraft and it was all inspired by him because i i know i loved it i loved and admired him that much i made all my my blackberry and then on my tablet they're on my dad's channel until eventually he deleted them sadly which was horrible but like it was hundreds of videos that i made because of him and uh, the guy, it, well, up until about uh, a year ago and whatnot, he disappeared for two years on YouTube, came back, and then he started doing Fortnite, which was kind of like, oh, God. Um, but started doing Fortnite for a little bit to try and obviously kind of get a little bit more recognition. And people were happy to see him back. At least he had back. that ideology to evolve on, like... Oh, yeah, people. yeah. Well, that, that was it. And he, like... He started doing it and he got a few views, but not really many. And, you know, and then he started doing his Let's Play series again, another one, a new one. And he started doing well from that. And he just should have kept at it, but he didn't. And then he disappeared again. And now he's been gone for, I think, another year or two almost or something like that. And it's uh, it's real sad. I had, uh, thankfully and very luckily, I had a communication with him privately at one point. I still do via Discord uh, on and off. And uh, it was it's really nice to speak to him because I was able to get a call with him, able to collaborate with him on YouTube and whatnot. But... The point was he just disappeared like he just disappeared from the you know youtube and I, i've spoken to him many times and he said he just doesn't know how to get back to doing it like it's he, now that he's been gone for so long it's kind of like think how once you get into a motion of it back in the day obviously it's not relatable for myself but mm. hypothetically if i was to do it back then do quite well and then leave it for a few years i think it would be something that's really hard to come back to especially as i yeah. know what the algorithm has changed like you know it's, it's not mm. the same as it used to be well he's still like a 2015 or 14 youtuber like he's still got that kind of mindset of had made content and i'm like the days of let's plays have kind of they've gone like that that era of youtube like that's how you have to kind of success. Do it, yeah you know? yeah and it's like 
the days of Minecraft Let's Plays getting you to substantial numbers or a lot of years or subs mm. it still can happen, but pretty much gone. You know, like that that era of YouTube was beautiful and it was so like the golden age of YouTube and it's like the pranks someone on YouTube and stuff like that. But that ship sailed and now it's time to start doing different stuff, more educational based, which is what you already done with the tutorials, which is how we still able to pull like thousands of views per month uh, simultaneously. Um, but I mean, that, that leads us into obviously our main discussion for this episode, which was if we were to become YouTubers, if we were going to disappear, what is or what is that, like our advice on like to other YouTubers that are going to disappear? What is the best way to do it in our opinions? Like, how would you best disappear? I don't feel like I'm the best person to ask for that because I would fuck with my audience if I oh, really God. wanted to disappear. Yeah, yeah, leave a bunch like, of clues and a bunch of like really weird stuff. What I would do, right, is I would just do really weird shit, right? Like, like every like few months, just a video in the forest, you know? Oh, dear. Just random clips in the forest. I don't know. Some MP3s are screaming or something. Some sort of like random crap i've got oh, like i've got the equipment to really concern people so like i think overall i think i would utilize that and be like you know what if i'm going out i'm going out of a bang or a slash mm. or a scream you know like it's going to be good i i like that mindset of like leaving but like leaving with like leaving with some mystery you know what i mean i like that like the whole concept of like well you could just leave and like blame because i'm not going like, to sit down on the edge of my bed and i'm going to be like Hey guys, um, this is it. No, thank you. It's like my friend Becca, um, Jotini Demon, uh, quit YouTube and she did that. She's like, I don't want to, you know, I school and I've got work and I need to catch up with that, which is a fair fucking thing to say. Don't get me wrong. That is the best way to go oh, about it and get straight to the point. But I'm not that easy. So, no, no, no. You know, and I wish she would come back one day and she said she might, but um, I wouldn't leave like that ever. I I'd be so like, you know what? It's time to really stir. So, like, even if like twenty people see the videos, it, it's it's funny knowing that one day they're watching this commentary, um, you know, channel speaking yeah, and they video go, games, yeah, yeah, and then it goes into some sort of like online horror notebook. You know, like, it's like yeah, like where did he disappear to? I mean, I I can so that would be your way, like just you would oh, not yeah. like, like you, would, I would you would not say goodbye. Everyone. You wouldn't like leave a video. You just like disappear, like and then you wouldn't just disappear, but you leave like clues or videos. I like that. I like that mindset. I like the idea of like. Like, not just disappearing or saying goodbye but not just going and leaving nothing like i love to leave something like a clue like in the description of the final video you upload leaving something like a link that takes you to a website that takes like like you exactly have to follow that. clues and like you'd be like if you want to like find where i went or what's Discord going on here server for people to discuss yeah. it and stuff and yeah yeah or like make it where like as like a user and yeah stuff. or or make it where it's like if you want to keep in contact with me got to find where i went so you'd have to go through well, all you've the got old to videos find this code or something. yeah you, you'd have to go through all their old videos and be like oh where did he leave like you know having to try and find certain things like say a discord code or something like that for like hundreds of all the old what videos is the trying third to find word i said in my 15th video yeah yeah so i just and, something and, and it's very like there's an unlisted video in midway so it's the 16th or something yeah stupid yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. you'd have to like really deep dive to try and find them i like that mindset me personally though if I was going to leave YouTube, uh, and I have before in the past, a, a few times, well, when I was younger. I brought you back. Um, yeah, you, almost, you brought me back. Me and a few others, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah. Fun. but like I have a few times in the past. But when I've left willingly, as opposed to being terminated uh, or whatnot, um, in my opinion, I, I think it is good to kind of leave with a video or kind of try and le at least leave with something or let people know. Like, you I know, but like a chapter. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd rather, you know, close the chapter. I know it's kind of like, oh, but if I leave it open-ended, then it's kind of like, I can always come back. I get that, but that's kind of like, almost like, the, I, I I wouldn't say it like this, but it feels you don't almost like the coward's way out. Hope. Yeah, I, I don't want to project false hope, and I also don't want to, like, leave you, you know, constantly waiting for it. Like, I'd rather just say, hey, listen, I'm leaving. Like, I'm not I coming back. I think that's why we both had such it. a problem with the purple withers, like, you know, when yeah, going with about it. it. He just yeah. vanished and said nothing. He didn't leave with a video. He didn't leave with any clues. He didn't even leave a comment, a pinned comment in his old like last video, just saying, not coming back, just left. And it's like, in my opinion, I think if you're going to ever leave YouTube, I think you, you could do it in a few different ways, but I think you should at least, if you respect and love and all your, like, you know, you, if you respect your audience and you know them personally, and you're not gonna be able to contact them or you don't want to have any contact with them ever again after you leave YouTube, then I think the best thing you can do hands down is definitely be genuine with your viewers and let them know that, hey, I'm leaving. This is why I'll be back maybe one day, maybe not. I wouldn't count on it. 
but thank you so much for being here and then kind of step at it like that you could leave it with mystery like what you said where it's like you could leave it like like mysteriously like i it's dead or like he's just someone else that's still on his channel or some shit i and would I mean, get like some funny, of my but... friends to like intro as myself and just do oh a video God. as me and then be like yeah i'll just upload this with no context and see what happens i think it's two different ways of looking at it. I think like I like that way for the, the for the memes of it But like I do that as a meme, but seriously, not in, I would, not in, a, not in a serious way I, I'd have I, to I would. I'd have to leave my audience with like a, a goodbye or like an actual official kind of message Like uh, if I was fully officially leaving if I was just taking a break different story But if, I, if I'm fully knowing that I am done here, this is the end of this road the end of this chapter I'd rather leave it properly. You know what I'm saying um I don't know. Now, I would put like some video, sense. some scuffed from now. That this oh, yeah. is the end in italics or something. Just, just the yeah, world so... is ending. The next one's oh, just like God. titled Agony or something. Like a Jesus twisted Christ. forest. Uh, no, there's a, there's a few like different ways. Audio file. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would, be a, that would be an interesting way to leave it off. By making an audio file, like an online audio file that can only be accessed via a link or something. And the audio like file. A blank, black video. And then the like a, like a web page. Like you make a web page, like a, just a blank web page. And on it, you just have one audio file that you can click play on. And when they follow the link and, and they get to that web page, yeah, and or so, like there's some sort of like monotonous kind of code to like uncrack it, but they listen to it and it tells them, thanks for being a part of this. Well done. And like, you know, stick with the journey. Like that's cool. Like whatever. Like I actually done something similar with uh, another channel of mine that people didn't know about. And it was uh, one of those channel, uh, one of those channels where it says like, don't read my username or don't, it's oh, like, God uh, yeah, no, I, it was a smart thing. Right. So I can, I can tell you all the steps. It was so insane. Right. But it, it began with like the, the username was don't read my profile photo. So then you read the profile photo. Don't read my banner. Click on the channel, read the banner. Don't read my about. Click the about. It goes to about. Don't read my, uh, like, don't don't check my videos or don't watch my first video or don't look at the thumbnail for my first video. Something, and then they look at the firm thumbnail. Don't read the description. They click on the video and it's so many, not that you go step by step. But it was really deep. It never really worked though because, like, YouTube wouldn't allow me to comment. It. I don't know why, but I had it copy pasted somewhere. It was like, you know, they, they got to the part where it says, don't read the comment section, right? And like, then they read the comment section and like, they must have went like 10 different steps to get here. Like this has taken a bit of time. Like they've, they've went through all this work to get here. And then at the end of it, what it was going to have was like, you can rest easy now, fellow warrior. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've got to the end of your journey. But if you want to continue down the rabbit hole and find out who created this, like the, the, who the actual person behind this was, you can, but I'll leave that decision up to you. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And like, it leaves it there. And the whole point was, was it was going to lead to the Forgotten Podcast. Genuinely true story. It was going to lead to TFP. And then it'd be like, who, which one? You know what I'm saying? And then it'd be like from there. It was a really cool thing. I honestly have the whole channel made and everything. Like I could show you right now. The whole channel and everything is made. But I just comment couldn't... on this video with, with the channel. I just, well, like, that's the thing. I, this. YouTube wouldn't let me. YouTube wouldn't let me actually comment on any videos. It wouldn't let me comment on my own videos on that channel. I don't know why, but like, I honestly, true to God, got the channel. I'll try and load up right now without my Wi-Fi flickering out and like killing us. Uh, but let me just try and pull it up right now. One second, because I want to just actually show, because it's not a lie. Like, this isn't me just like, oh, that's a cool story. Like, no, genuine true story. Uh, let me know if my Wi-Fi or anything like that is messed up, okay? Right, let yeah, me go like fine. this here, right? So let me let me just try and share screen now. What one second? Uh let's share uh share screen. Let's go for a window here. One second. Uh all right, let's go like let me see like this. One second. Uh Chrome tab. Let me see like that. Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry, can you see this? One second, Not, let me just add no. this in here. One second. There we go. Can you see that? There we are. All right. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you can't really see it properly, but right here it says don't read my you know my name. You see that? It says uh, I don't yeah. can't Right, it's not it's the best. Blurred, let me, but, I, I yeah. can't really zone, but it says, don't read my channel. I don't read my profile picture. Now you click on the channel, or obviously I can just click on, yeah, I can click my channel. But yeah, don't read my profile photo. You read it and it, it says, <laughs> don't read my and, about page. Uh, yeah, don't read, don't, no, don't read my channel banner. Then it says, don't read my about page. You can't, they click the about. It goes here, don't go to my videos. You go to the videos, right? And then it was, don't click on this video, right? And then it, or it, it says, uh, don't read the, the title, the video title. And then it says, don't click on this video. You click on it. You can see two months ago, I've done it, right? And then from here, uh, once it says, don't click on the video, it says, don't read the description, right? So you keep following this rabbit hole and you click, look, don't read the pinned comment. And that's where it ends there, right? Like the, the pinned comment isn't there. And the reason why was because, let me just try and go like this here, one second. Let me just try and actually find this real quick, just for a quick sec. But the reason why was because in the comment section was where it had this beautiful comment where it was like, rest easy now, warrior. You know what I'm saying? You've, you've traveled to the end of like the, the end of the rabbit hole, whatever. It was, it was brilliant. It was so- I love seeing like, those accounts creative. like with like in satire, you know, like when oh, yeah. like, Mm -hmm. You see them in comments all the time. 
It's well, this, I've, I've, I've got it right here. This is what it says, right? On the comment, it, if it would worked, it would have said, don't click read more, right? And then they click read more in the comment. And then it would have said, you've reached the end of this journey, fellow internet user. You can rest easy now. Well done, my friend. You'll never truly know who I am, but I'll know who you are. A curious and beautiful person who is going to succeed in life because you aren't afraid of going, or you aren't afraid of going down the rabbit hole to find the answers you seek. We are often told by our friends and loved ones growing up that curiosity killed the cat, but they always forget to finish that saying. It's actually curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. I'll leave the final choice in your hands, my friend. Subscribe to this channel and like this video, then end your quest here, or continue the journey down the rabbit hole to potentially discover the creator behind it all. You make the final decision, but regardless of your choice, you are incredible and loved. TFB and it has linked... been an ominous thing. To How stop fucking time. cool is that? And it linked us, to, and it would have linked there to TFP, and people would be able to find the channel. But how ominously cool is that? Though, like, it's such like a, a sweet kind of like you'll never know who I truly am, or you might. It was oh so brilliant. It was like a, such a level of like effort to go into it, but it was such a good way. And that's how you should leave. If you were gonna leave YouTube, leaving shit like that, like that would be an amazing way of doing it. I'm telling you, like that would really like, like hands down. If you could leave like that, that is like such a boss way of leaving. I can't lie, I honestly can't. But goddamn, sorry, that was a bit of a tangent. Now, that was a real big thing for me because I that's my first time showing off that channel, and I was like, I'm gonna show it off 100 without shadow of a doubt. Goddamn. God damn. <laughs> that, that was good that was good that was amazing well i think ladies and gentlemen we have pretty much talked about everything here we discussed how we would personally individually leave the platform and you know become forgotten creators as we said uh, and we also discussed some other forgotten creators that have now kind of disappeared into the woodwork and maybe one day will reappear and i, I really hope that everybody we mentioned excluding the pedophiles uh do reappear and come back to the platform there's a lot of those actually that we've spoken about i've realized yeah a lot of them i feel kind of weird you know what i'm saying it's not really good but we're kind I of really like the next chris hansen so that's what it is we're, we're the both chris hansen remember cat hansen that was my name for episode 29 Cat Hansen so that's what and is. what Cat Hansen. Mark Hansen or Chris mm. Sinek Chris Sinek Chris Sinek yeah yeah Chris Sinek and Cat Hansen you have to say that's brilliant we should do, we should do that next Chris time, Sinek sounds it? like a like a weird porn star we, we, we both have an idea for an episode coming up that we can't share we've kind of delayed it for this season but Joseph and I both know which one I'm talking about I, I don't know if you do it right off the bat the one that we delayed we should do that yes. it was going to be this episode and we should do that for that episode we but then we realized we want to have fun on this podcast and yeah yeah not, hey new season yeah. here's this yeah yeah it was, so we were like oh we'll put it off for the time being so yeah but on that note ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this episode of the forgotten podcast we both really hope you did go to enjoy it and if you did please be sure to drop a like on this episode and if you're on spotify please be sure to subscribe to us on youtube uh or anywhere else wherever you might be listening to this um on a, on a brief little note right now um feels so great to be back with the show genuinely um this is our first time back in i think a little over a month maybe perhaps now um because we left on the 21st of december we both i mean it didn't really ways. change for you guys but oh you yeah know. yeah well for you guys we you kind of had a break to be pre-recorded so yeah yeah well for us we took a break over christmas new year and obviously both our birthdays uh mine was obviously the, the you know the 11th his was the 13th uh and it was nice i can't lie but I'm, I'm happy to be back with the show uh we've actually got something that would work i don't know if it'll be done or if it'll be out there by the time uh joseph's uh, edited this and this goes up on saturday but we have a do you want to talk about the trailer oh yes um i'm not sure if it's done it probably will be but i've made just because we were going to record this yesterday but joe wasn't really ready for that so i thought yeah. you know what productive and i made a, a bit of a channel i threw that together including some funny moments and also just some other bits well not done as of right now but it has a decent yeah. segment of it done like 35 seconds or something like that it's, but it's, it's going to be out good. it's going to be cool yeah so we're, we're constantly improving guys tfp is getting bigger and better with every single day it feels like uh we've got a bunch of new stuff coming this season if you haven't already watched episode 30 you should watch out and find out everything that's coming uh we've also got obviously brand new intros now for every single one of our episodes from 30 onwards uh, including this episode so hopefully, hopefully you guys like the intro and uh, hopefully you'll like the outro as well and uh, over, overall just the entire show guys but thanks so much for watching this episode of the forgotten podcast i'm catman joe that is mass cynic thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on episode 32 and hopefully you guys are excited for because episode 32 is going to be a good one i can assure you was that us is it i think it is bye bye oh oh i, I, we did. I told you bang, i bang. want to end ominously i'm not you, gonna you say should, goodbye oh you should do i remember the bang bang the finger like <laughs> exploding oh you want me to shoot them again yeah shoot them again you know what i'm saying then we'll leave I, it there dude my hands scuffed when i oh, chopped myself up okay Wait, I. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ready. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave via the portal when you do it. Go, out, go, out, quick. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm going. Cover fire. Cover okay, fire. I'm going. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Bye bye. Granny, you see. Oh, I'm leaving. Right? It's all good. See you later. It's all good. Ready? Their bodies are warm.
Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. 